everybody so I'm showing you these items that I'm going to be using for my wig as you can see I have clips these are the old-fashioned banana clips I feel like they grip my hair more easy uh, far as if I'm using wig clips I think that these are actually easier to install too just because I can cut in the middle and then I can sew it around the edges of the wig and also I use a really sharp um, thread scissor I think that it's easier to cut the thread in between the tracks and I of course you know you use thread and thread is the main ingredient to the wig also I use a mesh dome cap wig I think that it's more easier for me and it's more convenient than the spandex dome cap just because the spandex dome cap doesn't dry quick enough but I feel like the mesh dries very quickly and it's very like it lets your hair breathe underneath so i feel like it's very convenient for me because also i do moisturize and oil my braids underneath when i do have my wig on also um, i'm showing you my my little mannequin head of what i use um, when i'm sewing or when i'm gluing So I flipped the cap because I'm going to start sewing the track underneath. I go through the thread at the end of the track because it holds the track um, in place. Pretty much I'm going to make sure that the hair is flat underneath so that when I do want to put it in a ponytail or in a bun, I can do so and there's not going to be axis track showing. So. What I'm doing is that I'm putting the hair around, measuring it, and then I hold it in place with the tack. And basically, these are very useful when making your wigs. So I'm going to start going underneath the cap, underneath the track, and pretty much um, I'm starting like that because I don't want to go through the track over and over because if I do, then it's axis shedding that will happen. So I decided to go underneath the truck and it's more easier and convenient that way and it helps me a lot better. Maybe you need a dose. I quitting on the job, I'll be putting over time in the most for you. Be from the east side, but I got you on the west coast. Yeah, if I ever told you that I had better, yeah, you know I got jokes. In the moment, setting you how I feel. Go and go through my quotes. I'll yeah, be writing down every single line. I'll be thinking about every single rhyme. When I'm with you, I can see the whole show. Oh, baby, I got a stroke. And I wanna get to you, but I don't want them to know. I know I skipped a step, but I wanted to show you my flip over method when I'm starting my views. Uh, basically, as I'm flipping it, I go through the track, as you can see, uh, as it's flipped. 
because most people get it confused they flip it and then it looks kind of bulky so I kind of as I'm flipping it just start sewing through the thread and then I do like a three knotted a thread strand because I feel like that helps a little better to hold it in place um, as you can see that I am as I'm sewing I'm doing it up and not kind of down because I want to really put my hair in a ponytail so I feel like this technique helps me a little bit So I'm showing you this picture of what the closure is supposed to look like once when you're about to close it. As you can see, I added more hair in a circle, but in order for me to do my closure, I'm going to sew the tracks and I just start by putting a thread through each of the tracks as I'm rolling it so that it's secure. So I flat ironed it to make it flatter. Once when you do a flat iron, you're about to sew the closure on. I sew it as if I'm sewing a lace closure on. You know, when you're about to put the lace closure on, you start sewing around it. So pretty much I'm sewing around the lace closure with the, the mesh dome cap. And I feel like it's easier that way. So now I'm showing you my banana clips. I basically cut the middle of it. These clips are easy for my hair because they grip my hair. And I love just the way it feels better than wig clips. I feel like wig clips sometimes snags my hair. But with these, I'm just basically sewing on the side and not up and down, just sideways. And it holds the clips better. So as you can see, the finished result, and I'm going to do the other side. 
So here's the finished product. Um, I did add some of my old hair in it, so that's why you see a different curl texture, but it's only like two tracks that I've added um, with that because the hair, I didn't realize it was gonna be so full. I have three bundles in and uh, like a half a bundle of my old hair. But I feel like it came out really good.